So there's our first square line. To add that little sort of plumpness to it and give it a load of shape. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. So on today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a butterfly haircut. Again, we're gonna start off with a ponytail to help you understand where we're gonna be placing our sections and how we're going to do it. And then we'll follow on with a salon version, exactly the same sectioning, but as a salon sectioning practice. So on today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a horseshoe section on this top section. We're gonna be putting in a bit of a fringe as well, but the placement of the ponytails are gonna be vital when it comes to where we want the hair to live, to fall, to create the shape. So before we get into it, I'm gonna jump on the sectioning and then we can talk you through how we're gonna section. So sectioning pattern is very simple. We're gonna come in on the flat point of the head. So that piece there that is, is like flattened off, that's where we're gonna section back to for the fringe. So that will probably come from corner of the eyebrow, corner of the eyebrow, somewhere like that. And then that will be our first ponytail or section. Next, we're gonna work around the parietal ridge. So that's gonna be coming in around here, through here, and then back around there to isolate the top from the underneath. So we'll see there, curvature of the head, that will come round through there, fringe will come there, and then that will fall around there. So then when we get to the top section, we've already got a ponytail as the fringe, and we want the top section into three sections. So we're gonna go there, there, ponytail, ponytail, ponytail. Then it'll be brought straight up to the ceiling and cut off, creating a square line or a square layer. Underneath here, Again, we want three ponytails. So we're gonna go bulk of the hair through there, there, and there. And we want them to be quite high because we want the underneath this section here to be shorter, going to longer. That's gonna create a little bit of an undercut, but it's gonna, it's gonna make the top section sit like fuller, but maintain the length. So when we look here, pony, Pony, same on the other side. There, there, and there. And that's how we're gonna section off today. Exactly the same as we do when we do the salon version. So first off, what we want to section off is the ponytail fringe. And then we just get our comb and we see the flat point of that head. So we work back to there, corner of the eyebrow, to the corner of the eyebrow. And I'll show you this section in a second. So we've got that there, so you can see. We get our first bobble. Butterfly as well, we want it to be sitting around about here. We don't want to be going too short, that's more of a wolf cut. So there's our first ponytail in, should be sitting dead central. Now we want to be coming around the parietal ridge, curvature of the head, like so, and follow that back round to the other side. I'm just going to get a clip, <clears throat> just to clip that out of the way to begin with while we work through the bulk of the head. So we're working just behind into this hairline here. So we're not working behind the ear as a traditional section through there. We're taking a lot more hair into this section through there. So you can see we are behind the ear, being behind the ear, but our section isn't running from the high point of the head. It's working a much bigger section through there. So we get another bubble and we want these layers on the top to be shorter than, than the layers here. So we want to maintain a lot of length. So we're going to put the section right on base. So that's right on the, the sort of section of the parietal ridge that we've sectioned around. I'll show you once I've done it. So you can see there, there's the section and it's right up onto here. So we're going to maintain all that length. And then when we cut it, we're cutting it at an angle to make sure this is shorter in here, going longer, so we've got disconnection underneath. I'm just gonna do the other side and then we'll section off the back. So exactly the same on this side, going high up in there. And then the bulk of the hair is gonna follow the same premise of elevating up. We wanna be going really high with this. Again, maintaining length. We want shortness underneath and we want it to be in the middle 
of all the sections because we want balance. And when we're working this way, what this brings you an understanding of is a stationary guide. But because we put three in, it's basically like we've got a moving guide because we're, we're pulling all the hair into there, hair into there, hair into there. When, we were, when we'd be working in the salon, we'd be working, but we'd be moving around. So this is why these look slightly different to a salon version. You maintain a little bit more length because we've got over direction of the hair in the sections. Now this top section, I'm just working through the center, either side of the fringe to create three sections, just to create some balance. And again, I will show you once I've got these all sectioned, to create a square layer. The reason we're not pulling all these into the same is because it'd all be over directed into the middle. So you'd get length on the edges. I know with a ponytail it's over directing, over directing, but this is why I'm putting in three ponytails to give the illusion or to mimic a square layer. So where we want the section to be is on top of the head, like so. So one there. Now this is probably the most complicated ponytail haircut you'd have ever seen in your life. But the reason for is what it gives us. And we don't want it to be sitting there, we want it to be sitting straight up to the ceiling because that's how we're going to mimic a square layer. There, there, and the third one's going there. And there we go, that's the sectioning done. So I'm just gonna talk you through it so you can see. So we've got that bulk of the hair there, one section there, section right up to the parietal ridge because it gives us the elevation. And when we're cutting, cutting like that, it's gonna give us shorter underneath sections being able to make it look more modern, but give us that sort of scaffolding underneath, which will hold the rest of the hair, make it look fuller. Again, the ones on the side, let's just get that back in there, right on the edge. So that's coming up through there. Same on this side. The fringe is pretty standard. If you've been doing fringes and understand there, over direction, over direction, coming through there, that will give us a little bit more length towards the edges and then taking that short shortener, whoop, taking it shorter in the middle. And then here, so all three of those up to the ceiling, they'll be cut square to give us a square layer, fall over the top, and then we're gonna have a beautiful butterfly haircut. So we're gonna start central back section, like so. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut below the ponytail, cause I'm gonna cut up into the hair, taking shorter through here, maintaining length. So I can see my length there. So that is my aim to do that. So under here, so we've got those layers there. We've got our length there, falling through. So onto the sides, let's get that tucked up in there. We're gonna do exactly the same. So we're gonna come through here. That's taken the shortness in there, so you can see all of that. And we maintain the length through there. Spin it around. You can see the angle I'm pulling it up at as well. Just taking that off and we'll get that length. But we've got those short layers that are under there. Beautiful. Just to check. There. Question will be, how did you get that so precise? Again, I'm a professional, I'm a hairdresser. I just know when I'm pulling hair up, where I'm starting and what I'm looking at my end point to be. That's how, I, that's how I've judged what we're doing here. If I was working on a salon version, I'd be working with sections and guides, working through that the, the guides would be so much easier to see because I'd be taking one from the previous section. Now, with the top, we want some disconnection. And what that means is we want the underneath layer that I put in, this, to be shorter than what we put on top. So there, I know I'm gonna cut so all you have to do is grab your shortest layer, that's sitting there. So I know if I take anything above there, we're gonna have disconnection. So you can see that section through there. So there's our first square line. And we can just point cut into there to really soften off. And a little tip for you, what I do in salon when I'm working, not with such big sections like this, 
but you take your section, you make a fist, and you see how it just fans all of that out, and it just shows you where the weight is. So you know exactly where you want to be taken away. So there's that. We're gonna use that as our guide now. But what we're going to, we're not gonna pull, we're not gonna pull this up to there. We're gonna take this over to that section. We want this to be coming up to the ceiling. Straight up out the head. Reason four, we want to create that square line. So there, we can drop that point cut just to really loosen off. Now I'll show you it from this side. So this comes over to there. Can you see this section here comes straight up out the head there. That's coming over. So just make sure you're checking your mirror. There we go. Get rid of the middle. We've already texturized that. So I've just shattered that edge. Now people will be, why do you do that underneath? You can do it underneath, but what I'll probably end up doing, because I didn't cut it blunt, I cut it like that, it's gonna be soft anyway, but I'm probably gonna take it off some length anyway. Fringe. So, that's its jaw. Where's that going to? Oh, it, I didn't mean this to be on purpose, but look, that's on that chin. That is a perfect guide. So if you were struggling to understand where to take it to, you could bring that piece into there. Like so. That piece of hair there. And that could be your point to aim to. So. I'm just gonna cut that off there. And you know, the reason we've used that as a guide, you know it's gonna to melt together. So it's gonna really deep point cut into this to really soften off. And that butterfly sort of vibe is really, really loose. Done. So, we're just gonna pull out the underneath first. I don't know what I'll do. I'll clip all of this up. Like that. And you can see shortness there, short, 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 into long, again, short, into long, give that butterfly shape. So I just wanted to get a little bit smoother just so those bubbles weren't popping out. Short layer there. That's falling over, as will the rest. See how those layers just all melt in? We've got the, all the shortness, and we've got these layers underneath, which just plump up that. And now we've taken out the ponies. What I'll do is just give it a little bit of a shake. So now I can see that shape is already in that hair. We're working with those bangs, works with all that shape around the face, but those ends look a little bit sparse. So what we'll do is we'll look at where it starts to thicken up. And I think about about there. See how much better that is now. We've still got all those layers that are all in there, but that baseline just looks so much better. Sorry this got cut off, we're having some electric work done in the salon and the Wi-Fi and everything just, just shut off, so I decided just to um, tong it while I was waiting for it all to come back online. So I've tonged it, I used Joyco's Pro Series 1 Defy Damage as like a prep spray, absolutely love it for, for giving it the gloss, which is that, in salon treatment. And then I used my Alpha Italia tong, taken off the, the catch, so it's just like a, a wand. But yeah, set it at 180 degrees. And then you can see all of that shape in there. 
but this is the butterfly cut, all tonged, all ready. And then all we're going to do is, I don't want it to be like really wavy, I want it to be like lived in. So Joyco's, I think these are just like shower, shower combs. I'm just going to brush it through quite, quite a lot, give it a bit of a shake out. But we want to be able to see all the shape and everything that's in there. And that's why I used the, the bigger tong as well, because I didn't want it to be too tight. But as you can see, beautiful shape. And we've got the, let's bring it all back. You're gonna kill me, I'm somewhere all back, but apologies. I thought I was working on blondes today, but there's all that shape that's all running through there. Remember, we've got the disconnection underneath to add that little sort of plumpness to it and give it a load of shape. Just opening up those curls that a little bit more so you can just see a little bit more definition. I don't know what is up with my lighting at the minute. My camera settings were set for vlogging, so I can only apologise. You can also see this against a black t shirt now. So I'll set these settings as my studio settings. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know in the comments down below. As usual, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.